Lucky Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kids' PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. With Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. And we're back. Wait, well, we I never did. went anywhere. Did I do that last week? I think you might have. Uh, uh, okay, let's start again. Ready? Ready? Uh, ready? Try okay. again. M I C K E Y M O. No. No, that's not that's it. That's not okay, it either. Uh, um, I can't remember the opening to our show. What is it? It is. Uh, um, it is. Uh, 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 Would it go? I'm Doug and I love movies. This is Doug. Doug. No, no, that's not. This no, that's uh, not what's the other one? Oh, my God. Oh, uh, what's. Um, ding, dun, ding, ding, dun, ding. No, that's Sports Center. Wait, I think your theme song that you played at the intro oh. might have given it away. Oh, dun, 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 dun. Isn't that the Let's Make a Deal theme song? It might have been Let's Make yeah, a Deal. Yeah, so I think our, our the theme is Let's Make a Deal. What's the deal? I'm sorry, I'm lost. Who are you? Uh, I am, I don't know who hosts Let's Make a Deal. Who, who's the host? Of, Wayne, Wayne Brady. Brady. There it is. Wayne Brady. Did he, he, Way to be quick on your toes there. Yeah, oh my goodness. Mr. So, uh, uh, so speaking of uh, Let's Make a Deal, yes, sir. Uh, well, hold on. Wait a second. Hi, I'm Hi. Chris. No, you're not. No, I am. No, really? Yeah. Wow, you're well, still tomorrow. Chris. Not today. Not today. Not today. No. Today? I don't want to be married today. Okay, I was going to say, I am married. I do want to be married today, actually. Every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm married. Yeah? Yeah. Very, really? yeah. Tuesdays and Thursdays, but, uh, though, I get buck wild. Okay, no, that's not true. That's not true. You can't be, it can't be true. It can't be? No, you married a Mexican. Taco Tuesdays, tequila oh, Thursdays. That's How right. are you going to give those Honestly, up? those are the best days. I know. <laughs> you can't do those alone. <laughs> well, that was Chris Donovan, and I'm Eric Lucky, and yes. this is We Should Be Better at This. Getting to the name Which, of the show three minutes in. Yeah, we should be really. We should be better yeah. at this. Okay, so, so yeah. We, the, we did play the Let's Make a Deal theme song yes. because. You, sir, were on a uh, game show that you, you. I know you can't say much about it, right? Like this is like a sworn to secrecy. You could tell oh, you're me, but you, to me, right? Yeah, but okay, you'd have to kill me, right? Like, no, well, I mean, I'm going to do that anyway. Yeah. Eventually. Well, the, the the drinking is doing it on its own. <laughs> me or you? Well, I, I drink my. I drink because of sadness. <laughs> and my nickname Some, is sadness. Yeah. <laughs> I was on Let's Make a Deal today. Were you able to make deals? I was in the audience, mm-hmm. and that's all I can say. That's all you can say. So if I ask you questions like, how much money did you win for sitting in the audience? You don't win just for sitting in the audience. That's what I would say. Yeah, that's so what you would were, say? You that would be the you, answer. Hypothetically. All right. if you were all right, let me go about this a different way. All right, cool. What do you uh, got? Do like have it? you made any good deals lately? Uh, uh, actually, yeah, I haven't paid for any beer tonight yet. That that is actually amazing. Mind you, we are at the Fieldhouse in Norco. Yes, we Great are. Good place. Good place. Fieldhouse in Norco, another uh, new broadcasting live uh, location for us. Yeah, and I really like this place, and I'm trying to work with them and do more things. But tonight's the first night I can probably say, honestly, I don't know 100 percent, but I think Eric's first time on stage doing comedy. Yeah, first I had I had a comedy. good I had a good like Let ten minute notice. First time getting on stage. Yeah, I didn't do any comedy. Trying to tell jokes <laughs> to make people laugh. So yeah. the normally the only it, time I get laughs is in the bedroom, but or tonight, the shower. <laughs> well, that's when I laugh. That's when I laugh at myself. <laughs> I just look down and go pathetic. <laughs> but it's a hard pee. It's a pathetic. pathetic. All right. So yes, you, I was. Yeah. So you were. Let's what make else? a deal, and uh, you can't tell me anything about it. But yeah. you had fun, right? I, like I it was. A, it was a fun time. time. So what was your costume? I know. And let's make a deal. Oh, people get all kinds of wacky with costumes or something. Yeah. Like yeah. That. My costume. We, uh, it was a, a mashup. Okay. A mashup. 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 It was a mashup. It was the crazy cat lady. Okay. And the bearded. Woman lady. or whatever. Okay, so it was the crazy bearded cat lady. Wow, that was that, you went a long ways I for did, that joke. That was a long. So I printed off a bunch of cats. Mm-hmm. I pinned them to a robe. 
Mm-hmm. I sweat a lot. Yeah. I had a shower cap on. Yeah. Oh, God, that's going to be worse for the sweating. <laughs> <laughs> it was not good. A lot of condensation. I had pretty much a biodome on my head. Yeah. yeah. And so Polly Shore was on your head. He Excellent. Did. He pooped down this side over yeah. here. Then my left so eye was brow. the costume good enough to get you picked to be on the show? I talked to Wayne Brady. That's all I Damn it. Say. I thought I had you on that one. I really felt good about that one. Uh, so we are here at the Yara Fieldhouse. Yeah. Okay. And then named because it is in a field in- and it's shaped like a house. That's the best I have to go on. You know what? I never thought about it being shaped by a house, but yeah. it is. It is really so. <laughs> yeah. Like if you were thinking like the movie signs, their house surrounded by corn. It's really what this is. This is what this. Would I literally be. saw corn driving in. Yeah, I know. There was <laughs> cornfields. There's yeah. literally corn oh, I thought you were talking about they were playing out there. Like, no. Get the life. <laughs> It was C O R N, not K O R. I saw Corn Fieldy was out there. Jonathan Davis was out there. Oh rapping. wow, yes, yeah. oh, Jonathan Davis. What was the joke I heard? Oh shit, there was a joke, Limp Bizkit joke. What was I watching? I was watching a movie or a TV show, and they're like, the Earthlings screwed up twice. Yeah, <laughs> they're like global warming and Limp Bizkit. <laughs> I can't was? believe that guy got radio. It was airplay. good. It was the good life. It was a joke on there. So we were out here uh, hosting a stand-up comedy night. As you said, I got up on stage. You got up on stage. We had some more professionals uh, get up on stage. Yeah, big shout to Andrew Still uh, and uh, Luis Villasenor. Yes, he, that is uh, the House of Seniors. Correct. The, yes. uh, the, both Inland Empire comics, they've been around for a hot minute. I've known Luis for a long time. We did a comedy show in Vegas like... I six years ago. Mm-hmm. It's been that long. And Andre worked with at the improv when he was a bouncer and I was a sound guy. And by the way, Inland Empire, uh, that's a little pompous of you to call it an empire, right? Like, I mean, th- there's nothing empire like about this inland. Like, don't you think it's a little pompous? I know you live here. Wait, what? The oh, Inland mean? Empire. Okay. Like, it's a little pompous for I them to say empire, right? Like, this is, they should call it like the inland, like, yeah, it's okay. The inland, like, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, well, what, it's all right. Who is that celebrity that started talking shit the other day? Tyler, the creator, you didn't hear about that? No, I did not. Okay, so he tweeted out. He said, wanted to publicly thank my mom for not moving to Moreno Valley or the IE in 2004 like a lot of people from Los Angeles did because, man, I would have sucked. Thank you. Okay, here's the thing. He's not wrong. He's not right, though, because I'm not kidding. Tyler, the creator, he was retweeted by my wife and a bunch of people that have, like, I don't know, local-type celebrityism. Yeah, yeah. And he's literally on the lineup for their next concert in Riverside. <laughs> I told my wife, I go, you gotta so it's go a your, great business I go, decision. Yeah, I go, you got to go to your boss and be like, nah, we don't need him anymore. So, yes, i.e., Inland Empire, yeah. It's not ideal. Listen, there's nothing wrong with out here. I'm not saying there's anything there's wrong. There's nothing but orange in Orange County you except call for the big-ass balloon in Irvine. They're lying, too. Okay, but at least it's a county and there used to be oranges here. Has there ever been an empire in this inland? No, but has there ever been angels in Los Angeles? Damn it. Well, Angelus means angels in Spanish. Has there ever been any Franciscos in San Francisco? Yes, Franciscan monks. No, just I could a do guy this all day long. <laughs> guy on Hay Street. One guy, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a guy has a store on Hay Street. My name is Francisco. I know, yeah, totally. <laughs> do you know what Hay Street is? Yes. Look it up. Yeah. Oh, you know what it is? Yeah, H A I G H T. Yeah. I could spell too, sir. You can so spell we're it. we're Whoa. here we're here at a stand up yeah. comedy uh, event, which or, is which or, is fun. Or an event. Where or an event. Or an like. event where people attempted comedy. Uh, here's what I want to know. Okay, there are there are cover bands, right? And cover bands are quite popular. You see, uh, the the No Doubt band is called No Duh. No Duh, which is uh, great. Which is uh, Led Zeppelin is Led Zepp again, and there's there's all kinds of ones yep. like that, right? How come there are not no cover comedians? Think about this. Not everyone could afford to go see George Carlin. Well, he's dead now. Or Richard Pryor. He's also dead now. But perfect. why can't you have someone who's memorized all of George Carlin's routines get up on stage, do George Carlin's act, just like a cover band would do? It's a cover comedian patent pending. Well, you can't patent that. I can patent it. But it'd be a great idea. Uh, Zip it, lock it, put it in your pocket. It's mine. I think I'm close to... How old are you when you said that? I was probably eight, but I am the same mentally and have the same penis size. So, yeah, I would probably... Um, uh, I'd probably have to, like, work the body style. Yeah? I'd have to be like Rodney Dangerfield, like, oh, I'm getting beat by her rug. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, that was good though. Was, okay. That's what I'm saying. If you did a whole, yeah. but why? So think about it. No, if you do comedy, idea. if you do comedy and you take someone else's bit, they call you a thief. But if you're like the band that covers Oingo Boingo, which is a really awesome band called Dead Man's Party, everyone yeah, comes and cheers you. See, and I, I, does, it, the original band doesn't get paid because people know it's a cover band. They paid to see this cover band play songs that they like. So but you like advertise it. You know, you call it, and th- you got to have a dumb name. So it's, it's like uh, uh, get a Jewish guy, have him do George Carlin. And you call it Jew Carlin. 
Jew Carlin. I don't think that's politically correct. You don't think so? I don't think so. I'm not really I'm politically not Jewish, correct. Though, but yeah. I'm, not, I'm not taking offense. Yeah. But I think some people would. Okay. And my daughter's name is Juju. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so I got a couple. I got okay. some questions for you. Oh, so I went to a baseball game last night. Yes, you did. And I love I love going to a baseball game. Home run ball was hit really, really close to us. We we almost I almost got a home run ball, which was fun. But I wanted to ask you: Have you ever caught a home run ball at a game? Oh wow! Which um, is different from a foul ball because a foul ball the, the ball's not in play. Or What's great about a home run ball is that ball was in play yeah. and it only ended when it landed in your hands and you yeah, caught yeah, yeah. it. Have I, you ever... I, I can't think if I did it would have been minor leagues when I was younger. So okay. no, I would no? say I would say I've, I've caught foul balls. Yeah, I, I've games, caught a couple I've foul balls. To, I've yeah. been to Angels games quite a bit. I caught a ball one time in your went mouth. in my mouth. <laughs> that was that was the well, that mainly was that's mainly what I did in high school if you know what I mean. So. Uh, while they while they were warming up, you know the players are throwing back and forth warming up. A player threw it way over the guy's head, and oh, I was no. in the stands and I caught the ball. I thought, how rare is that? Like you, a player just like sailed it over his head, and I caught the ball in the stands. And you saved somebody's life. I could. I yes. Did you throw the ball back? No. That leads me to my next question. <laughs> oh, just, did you flip him off? I was. Uh, no, no, no. I caught the ball, man. I was happy You're to like, catch the ball. Thanks. Yeah, exactly. I was like, hey, souvenir for free. Yes. <laughs> So the other question I have is: So you, okay, you haven't caught a home run ball, I don't think I have. but you, you know you catch a foul. You know how yeah, uh, uh, when you're on the ro- uh, road, the road team hits a home run, yeah, they, yeah. they cheer for you to throw it back. Yeah. Where is your stance on that? Are you keep the ball or are you throw it back, guy? Uh, d- I think it would depend on where the game's at. Yeah. Because honestly, a ball's a ball. I like a ball. I don't give a damn who hit it and where. But if the game's super close, like the bottom of the eighth, and we're down, it's a tie game at two, and it's a home run to make it three to two. I'd be like, mother. I'll probably yeah. throw it back. See, like, I look at it off. as the odds of you catching a ball in the first place are so unbelievably rare. You catch that ball, you run with it. Okay. You leave the stadium immediately with it, carrying it Do over you, your head. There's two things you're assuming. One, yes, I have a glove. Yes. Two, you're a man. You catch I it barehanded. Caught it. Yeah. Three. I went to that instead of my beer. Yeah, that's a good point. So you have to. So like, you're the one that, that like, when the ball's coming and you have the beer in your hand, you, you just, just turn your back way. and let the ball hit you in the back because no, yeah, there's right. no way you're setting down the it's beer. Like, it's like I'm gonna take the base. <laughs> okay, now what about this? So you catch the ball. Okay. You decided not to throw it back. Yeah. Okay. okay you're gonna hold it. on to it. Yep. Do you hold on to it or do you give it to a kid? Depends on who I'm around. If I'm at a bar with a bunch of adults. I'm keeping the ball. I would not if give it to my kid, own kids. If there, was a, <laughs> if there was a kid there that looked like it had never been to a game, and that's usually where I sit. Yeah. <laughs> that's usually that's usually then the seat no, that I can afford. I'm going to give it to my kid. Fuck that kid. Yeah. I'm going to give it to mine. Yeah. No, see, I'm, I'm of the belief of, hey, I waited uh, almost 40 years to catch a ball. You little fucker can wait. Yeah. It's just as long. you got like another <laughs> like, 32 like, years wh- to go. No one gave me the ball when <laughs> I caught a home run in the 80s. Like... <laughs> I sat there with like frowny face on because the guy walked over with the ball. I got shoved aside you when did. it was balls. Like by adults, like you're you're scrambling for the ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the Somebody '80s, they you? shoved your ass down. They did. Like nowadays, it's like, oh, here, let me give you the ball, son. Screw that. I catch a ball. All those kids can look at me they and can, just they enjoy can it. Suck it. They can suck <laughs> it. Well, I'm glad you like balls. Yeah, thank you. I do like balls, and I want you to pull that as a drop. <laughs> so I also want to ask you. We re- we talk about a lot of movies on this uh, podcast, and we do some of our special ones. Uh, yes. Keep keep a lookout for those. Those are a lot of fun. We like yeah, those. Yeah, we have Office Space coming up. We do have Office Space coming up. I want to ask you. We're gonna, I'm going to quiz you. Okay. Pop quiz. You didn't know this was coming. It's kind of like I'm, me going on stage. It's kind of like well, you going on you stage. Go on Let's on stage hope this is way more successful. I'm going to ask you. It is September, whatever the hell it is today. I don't. Ca- yeah, I don't care. You have to remember that. Uh uh-uh. Yesterday was the 11th. But I never forget the 11th, but I'm allowed to forget the 12th. Yeah, but if you never forget something yesterday, you know it's the 12th. You're allowed to forget on the 13th, but it's also Friday the 13th, so yeah. you're fucked for like This is a really bad days. week. Yeah, this and is. And there's a full moon on Friday, too. Yes. Oh, my First goodness. First time in, since 2000. Okay. Since I was born. So yeah. I want to I quiz you on see if you could name, if you can go 10 out of 10. Okay. For... The top ten grossing movies of the year so far. We're about two. We're about three fourths of the way through the year. We have I the Christmas season to go. Oh yeah. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to name it. Let's see how many you can get. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Avengers Endgame. Yes, that is number one. Avengers Infinity War. No. Wow. Not in top five. Not in top ten. Not in top. 10. I think it's because it came out last year. Oh, then I'm wrong. Yeah. The, yeah. So it's only 2019. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Ixnay that. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um. Then I would say another one that did well this year would have been Hobbs this and Shaw. Did not crock the. Oh yes, it did. It was number nine. Okay. Number nine. Hobbs and Shaw. I uh, uh, did not Spider-Man. see that one yet. Spider Man: Far From Home, number five. Yeah. Wow. Just number five. Yeah. I actually did it was surprised. It? Yes, I did. Fantastic. Oh, God. Loved it. Oh yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, we did talk about. It. I was uh, here, the number two one was oh, a no, movie no, that no, I th- I said was going to be horrible, and everyone said it was horrible, but it's still number two. That made the most money. Yeah. 
It's not Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. No, which is my favorite movie of the year. Uh, that was number 14, by the way, Once wow. Upon which is, by the way, pretty good for a Tarantino release. Yeah, because it was it's a not a money making type movie. Not many people out of LA know. All right, about so, it, so probably. far you got number one, you got number okay. five, Give you got second. number nine. Oh, Lion King. Lion King is number two. Okay. Uh, tr- not really a good movie overall, but uh, did really good at the box office. Now, this is definitely going to be, I mean, you got to think superhero, you got to think Disney, you got to think, you know. Yeah, no, no. What was the Disney movie this year? Uh, uh, Toy Story 4. Toy Story 4 is number three. Okay. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, five. You got one, two, three, five, nine. All right, I'm going to do one more, and then you can fill me in. All right. Uh, one more guest this year would be I went to the movie theater. A couple of these are surprising to me, actually. And I saw... Think of another Marvel movie that came out this year, because Marvel movies always do good. No, I know, and I was trying to think of that, but it would have been a setup for Infinity War. It would have been Captain Marvel that came it out It is year? correct. Oh, okay. you, you got one, that two, three, four, and five. Yes. Oh, okay. See, I thought... I didn't know that came out. Okay. So, okay. so the only ones you missed were Aladdin at See, number I was six. I Aladdin, right? but it just You know, Disney, be... anything Disney puts out is going to yeah, be top ten. Number seven is kind of surprising to me. The movie Us by Jordan Peele. Oh, I, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, but huge. that was a big... But when you think back to it, that was a really big movie, you know? Yeah, no. It was giant, yeah. And then number eight, uh, another one that's really surprising, John Wick Chapter 3 uh, Parabellum. No, that, that's been such a huge franchise so far. Yeah, which is amazing because they never stop. They never stop. It's yeah. the same movie. Yeah, over and over again. Yeah. yeah. Just a different dog. By the way, so the, one of the jokes I told on stage tonight was, bombed. it bombed, but I said, uh, John Wick, you killed my dog, now I kill you. Air Wick, I kill the smell of dogs. Dead dogs. Dead right. dogs, yeah. I still thought that was. I wrote that like right. thirty seconds before I came on. Yeah, that was not bad. Stuff I wrote was thirty right. seconds before I went on. So John, and then uh, number ten, yep. How to Train Your Dragon: The Hidden World. Another surprising one. I see that though. There's a lot of my my niece. Basically, anything that's a cartoon movie is always going to crop the crack the top twenty. Just like pretty much. Parents hate their kids. Because I mean, even if I read the rest of the top twenty, you got yeah, Secret Life of Pets, Pokemon Detective Pikachu, uh, Shazam made it Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Dumbo, which was a horrible movie. Horrible. Uh, Godzilla It Chapter 2 is already in top 20 and the Lego Movie Part 2 which I didn't see it's not as awesome (laughs) play the song everything is awesome everything is cool everything is awesome well I think I'm ready to play a little love hate then I just hate you and I hate your ass face. I hate you, Rob Burgundy. I hate you. No, I don't hate Balboa, but I pity the fool. Would it interest you to know how much I hate you, Johnny? I hate you so much that I would destroy myself to take you down with me. All right, so the way this Here goes go. is love, hate. Uh, these are the things we love to hate. People we want to vote off this be- beautiful blue marble we call Earth. My first person that we love to hate is. Oh, God. The pilot who won't shut up with the announcements. He wants to describe everything outside the window. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for boarding today. Uh, yeah, we're going to be at uh, 32,000 feet here pretty quick. So now I'll turn off the uh, the um, uh, fast and seatbelt sign. And you can um, go about the cabin as you please. And please make sure you, uh, if you want some food, just let the waitress know. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. It's not the waitress. Let the stewardess know. The air waitress. And, uh, you know, she'll run your credit card, and then um, I'll, uh, I'll take a drink. And then he starts talking. He's like, you know, I mean, it's been a, it's been a hard week. And, uh, you know, outside your right-hand window is the Grand Canyon. Uh, you look at the left side. For those side. of you on the left side. For the left side, it's just a bunch of desert. Yep. You guys on the left side suck. It's like regret yeah. that your wife put you through. <laughs> so Because t- she took the car. <laughs> So uh, the pilot who won't shut up with the announcements yes. versus okay. the lady at the rental car counter who types and types and types, which I don't understand because she types in your name and your driver's license number and that's it. But she's typing for 45 minutes. <laughs> she's writing an, a rental insurance contract from scratch apparently every time. What's funny is that people that don't travel more than once or twice a year don't understand that. It is Annoying because by the way, she always has long nails and yep. it's clackety 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 clack. And you think it's done, <laughs> you think it's done, and you're like, So, can I have my car? Clackety 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 clack. She writes a freaking novel. Have you ever waited in line more behind more than like three people at a rental counter? It might as well be a line at Disneyland. This like, it's it's a four hour wait, three people in line because she has to write the entire contract from scratch. You would think one time they would save it in Microsoft Word or something, <laughs> but the, then they give you a packet that's like a phone book. Yes. Like, like it's like, I'm trying to rent a car, not yeah. screw your daughter. Yeah, I don't oh, need but, this. To be- by the way, phone books, guys, were things that people had back in the day to find ah, out yes. phone numbers yes. before Google. Public service announcement. Also, we were, yeah. we're going to start a new segment called Clackety Clackety Clackety. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Okay, so uh, between those two people, who are the worst? Both. Yeah, they're both pretty bad. <laughs> they're both assholes. Yeah. Uh, no, um, uh, um, uh, I would say the pilot is more condescending because it's almost like he has your attention and you're strapped in and there's nowhere you he can has go. Your attention in your life. In your life, and so you're kind of like, his yes, vodka bottle. sir. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> All right. All right, so between the two, I think I pick the pilot personally. I would too because you're at his mercy already. Yeah. He has that power. He has job. dominion over you, right? D- like d- 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 like dominion. The yellow, yellow yes. guys? Yes. Oh, those are minions. Minions. Uh, dominion's the evil one. All right, next group of people that we love to hate. How about clackety, 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 clack. Uh, sound of penguins walking on ice. Um, okay, so next up. When they put their foot down. Ah, that's a flamingo joke. That was the other joke. That one wasn't bad. My wife wanted me to stop impersonating a flamingo. I had to put my foot down. Yeah, and I said, I'll say it again. Don't. <laughs> Can't do my joke twice. <laughs> that's how good it went the first time. All right, so people who won't turn on red lights. Turn right on the red light, people. Okay. Please, for the love of God. Okay. Okay? All right. Versus pedestrians who take a long time to cross the road. You know the ones. You're waiting to make the turn because you're a good person making yeah. a right-hand turn on a red. And that person's, like, walking. But they're walking really slow. They're, I'm not talking an old person, but I'm talking a healthy young person who's walking the speed of an old person. They're taking the whole 18 yeah. seconds like, to cross. It's the point where the, the thing has ran down to zero, it's but they're still flashing. crossing. Yeah. <laughs> no, it would be those people. The people walking across yeah. the street because they know it. Or they know what they're doing, huh? Or they're just so freaking oblivious that I wish somebody would hit them with a car. Yeah. So either way, Darwin will probably help that one. We'll help him out. The other one, I can handle so often because this doesn't happen so much if you're out of the city. Yeah. Because people out here drive like jerks. We're in an empire. We're in an empire filled with people that's inland. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, So I vote for actually people on red lights just because I drive so much and I hate that. If you don't turn on a red light, yeah. you should be castrated. Wow, that's harsh. Yeah, that's really harsh. Don't if you want to live in Eric's America, you're gonna Eric's have to put up with that. America, <laughs> we, you should you should stanch in off your house and yes. try to like declare it. Yeah, d- declare it like a union? capital. It's the capital. <laughs> Eric's America. Eric's It'll America. Eric America. Eric America. Eric America. Eric America. Ooh, that sounds good on a shirt. That looks oh, good on a God shirt. God bless America. America. Erica. Eric America. <laughs> Land that yeah, I kind of alright, it's okay. He cannot sleep in the same state as most people under fifteen. Yes, they can. Okay. It's Eric America. <laughs> okay, good. It's not bad. Uh okay, I think I'm ready for a little SMRT. I am too smart. I am too smart. S M R T. I mean S M A R T. All right, SMRT, it's our dumb people doing dumb things that make the news. My Which first is one up. pretty much the whole it's show. It's the whole news, but it's also the whole news. I mean, it's literally, <laughs> I, mean, it, I should just call this the news. Yeah, it should be the, this is Fox, CNN, <laughs> HNL, or Headline yeah, News, or whatever it is. Okay, so uh, I like to my, write, write my cheesy jokes, and then you usually outdo me. So let's see if you can do this one. Okay. A man falls from the upper deck of a soccer stadium, falls on a 13 year old. Both survive. This is in Brazil. Okay. So my joke is it was a Brazilian to one odds of survival. Really? Yes, that's what I had. Mine is man booked for statutory rape. Damn it. But wait a minute. He just <laughs> he fell, fell on, on her. <laughs> so uh, what happened? The girl be like, he tried to touch me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the, a fan fell from <laughs> the top tier of a Brazilian stadium before landing on a 13-year-old at the bottom of the stand. The incident happened at Estadio Cicero Pompero oh. do Toledo Stadium, more commonly known as Marumba in San Paulo, Brazil, during a match between the <laughs> no, top teams. All of those words weren't Marumba. Yeah, none of them were. <laughs> like, Not one of them you were. Said, you said like a sentence. They don't just go down to Marumba. Uh, yeah, the fans were cheering, the guy, uh, cheering, and the guy leaned a little too far over, fell down, landed on this girl, and both of them kind of like popped up and walked away from it. Did he catch the ball? No. But it's Brazil. You know what's interesting? Baseball is the only sport where if the ball falls in, f- goes into the stands, you keep it. Like if the basketball goes into the stands, no, you're you required to put it back. Yep. Football, same thing. Soccer, same thing. Baseball is the only sport where you get to keep it if it goes into the stands. That's how cheap they are. Yeah. yeah. Sons of bitches. But they also play 173,000 games. We need to, you know what? We need to start a company that makes baseballs. Yes. It's a business idea. They're always using them. And then we could just... Wrap those in yarn and put soccer balls around them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Every guy. We we're balls. guys. Patent pending on all these ideas we're saying today because we've given out at least what four million dollar ideas. Four good one really, million. Really, really good. One million tops. What about I mean, tops. what about my salad dressing idea for people on a diet instead of a thousand islands? It's five hundred islands. 
Million dollar idea, people. We're just giving them away for free here on We Should Be Better at This. Idea. I know. It really wasn't enough money to generate, uh, like, you know, retirement like, income. You couldn't have. It would buy a year, house. Cut years in half. Yeah. Get it? You yeah. said a I got it. Yeah, okay. Right. It was a light joke. Okay. All right. My, uh, my final SMRT story. That's this one I think we'll both like very much. Okay. A vegan, which I already hate it. A vegan doesn't like that their neighbors keep cooking delicious smelling barbecue. She says that's offensive to her beliefs. Took them to court. Not just any court. This went all the way to the Supreme Court. Okay. Think about that for a moment. You're barbecuing in your backyard and your neighbor says, I'm a vegan. The smell of meat is offensive to me. I need you to stop. What would you do in that situation? Shoot them. I would throw the biggest fucking barbecue in the world. <laughs> I would yeah, have right. an entire... Bar- it's like, th- oh, really? You don't like the yeah, barbecue? Like- I wasn't really interested in having barbecue again, but I'm going to make it my life's mission to have 356 days of barbecue. There's the food truck I just announced to the wife, honey, we're barbecuing every, every night. <laughs> honey, buy a cow, because I'm... Gr- <laughs> what is it? Uh, call, call up Omaha Steaks. And to make this... Yeah, exactly, call up Omaha Steaks. We need an official sponsor. We, we, we need a monthly sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> so to make this worse, this took place in Australia, where they barbecue oh, yeah. a lot. I mean, there's yeah, always shrimps, shrimps on, on the Bobby. <laughs> so a Perth wow. vegan has taken her neighbors all the way to the Supreme Court by demanding they stop smoking uh, and cooking barbecues in their backyard. Okay. Uh, she is from the suburbs, and she's fed up with the smell of meat. Uh, she said they put it up there. I smell fish. I smell shrimp. I smell meat, and it's offensive to me. And it's my backyard, and I can't go out there. So, uh, reading further in the story, they did exactly what I said they should do. When the Supreme Court said yes, it's okay. You you can cook whatever you want. You don't have to apologize. Yep. They threw an an invite. Uh, they invited the uh, community over oh for a big God, barbecue. That's amazing. Oh. So it said uh, in the in the neighborhood barbecue that was thrown after the verdict, over 150 people showed up, local neighbors and friends, and cooked all night long. And now the house for sale next door. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Which by that hand, that story ended wonderfully oh, because that's the, exactly what I would do. I would have a pig outside, like yeah. on a rotisserie and in the front yard. I, I was just gonna say, you get it's like, oh, you don't like my backyard barbecue? We're doing it front yard yeah. now. You're gonna and, see and it backyard. There'll be a buffet in the backyard <laughs> with like sliced. You know, roast beef out front, the whole pig. I would hold a barbecue convention meeting at right. my house. Like, <laughs> you you, you call like, up, like, the National Barbecue Association because, how are you guys for meeting spots? Uh, you're like, I got a house that's for... I don't do wine tastings. I do barbecue sauce tastings. <laughs> in the middle of the night, someone, uh, like, paints, uh, like, uh, uh, like v- vegan, but in, like, a barbecue sauce on our garage door right. or something like brown. that. <laughs> Instead of, like, some lewd act, it's just, like, a steak picture. <laughs> <laughs> like from so, Flintstones. Wait, wait. Yeah. So so if I I would put pictures of raw meat, like advertisement of yeah. pictures of raw meat in my window, like as like just showing outside. If you I'd, walk by my street, you would see pictures of meat. I'd build a white picket fence and have it like r- marbled with red, so <laughs> it looked like meat. White picket. That'd be amazing. <laughs> that would be pretty good. <laughs> oh Jesus. All right, all right. Well, that was our SMRT yeah, story for done. the week. Uh, we're about done. I think we're I'm both tired. pretty damn tired. Tired, and you've been drinking. This is a wonderful combination. So I'm going to go home now. Yeah, you're married. I'm married. All right, I'm leaving. All right. So, hey, everybody, uh, listen up for uh, future episodes where we talk about things and other stuff. Times that was two. That's called a tease right. in the business. This is funner.com. You can go there and find uh, a whole bunch of other stuff that Yeah, Eric some of the does. other great some of the other great podcasts, too, like Converseat with us. Yep. And Eric's books are up there, and uh, Alt Mixed Up is up there. So just go there and check it out. If you have a question or anything, go to the bottom, type in your name, send us a message. Mm-hmm. We'll... Probably ignore you, but it'd be fun to read. Yes, and um, we are doing a, <laughs> a study. It's a sociological yeah. ex- uh, study. Uh, we are asking Some people to send word. dick pics. Uh, so please send all of the dick pics that you can. Uh, Chris yep. uh, personally yep. looks at each one and studies it. He will also write you commentary about the dick pic dick you said. Dick Vitale is a good picture. Yes, he will write dick you. Dick Enberg. Yes, Dick is Enberg. A good picture. Good. All yep. those dick pics. Richard Lewis. Yes, he sometimes yeah. goes by Dick. Moby Dick. If you have a, if you Moby have the book dick? Moby yeah. Dick, take a photo of Just it. Just Moby if you yes. want, really. I'll just call yeah. him a dick. Yeah, he's, yeah. yeah he looks so like a dick with his bald head. you know, really... Rich Dick Tracy. Yes. Well, Dick, Dick Tracy. Yes, all right. Hey. Yeah. Dick Sporting Goods, for instance. If yeah, you want to send a yeah. gift card or, to Dick Sporting Goods. Or the Dick's restaurants up right. in the, the Pacific Northwest. Yes. Yeah. yeah all right. All right. Everybody. Uh, that worked, but yeah. the other kind? No. I'm not into it. No, not into I don't it. I a Ram boner. Yeah. Did you see that posting? No. We'll talk about it. Okay. Later. Everybody, enjoy yourselves. Okay. Out of here. Catch you later.